Nowadays, if you go to one of those big box stores for home improvement, Mm -hmm. you can literally say, I want a deck that's this size and in this spot in my house. And they'll hire a team to go over and just build it all for you. Wow. Yeah. Alexis, you may want to do this just to flirt with some boys. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And the boys. Or women. (laughs) It sounds super convenient. It's way faster than you doing it. And theoretically, everything should go 100% according to plan. Oh, it always does whenever you're doing any type of construction, Jeff. Well, (laughs) Unless yeah. the person hired to build it for you is an ex-British black ops agent Uh-oh. named Clover. Oh, That's where things can get a little <laughs> sticky, and it's exactly what happens in your phone tap right now. Hello? Oi. Is this Sean M- Yeah, who's this? Me name's Frank, but me mates call me Clover. Uh... I was contracted through Home Depot to build a deck for you. Oh, hi. Yeah, thank you. Well, I'm at your house right now on the job, and if you're wondering, I too have previous experience. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, a lot. Well, good. I'm I'm glad you got experience. They told me that they were going to send out a good team. So oh, I'm definitely a professional. In 1982, I was in Caracas. I built an entire <laughs> hut out of a snake skin, oh. and I'm not saying multiple snakes, just <laughs> one giant venomous bugger. Stretched him over the entire frame. And you're doing decks now, huh? Affirmative. <laughs> Are there any uh, specifications you want me to know about? Um, well, you have the plans, I would assume, right? Affirmative. But not everything goes according to plan. Reminds me of Nigeria in the 70s. <laughs> I, well, I bought custom railings, and those are mm-hmm. really expensive. And I know there's a particular way that you need to put them in, so I'm assuming they taught you how, you know how to do that? Well, I don't read the instructions. <laughs> I just do it. <laughs> um, I don't read. What? what do you mean you don't read? Well, I used to. But back in 87, in a toy Winnie's prison... I taught myself how not to read. That way I wouldn't be able to verbalize any of the secret documents to my enemy. <laughs> so you unlearned reading. Is, is that what you're telling me? Affirmative. Anything is possible when you're in the line of fire. Um, so are, are we good now? Well, before you go, I, I took the liberty of building a trap door into the center of your deck. <laughs> what? What the f*** are you talking about? Well, that way, if you have any hostiles arrive unannounced, you just press a button and you vanish completely, mate. Hell Brilliant. You, I have children. You don't put trap doors in decks if you have kids, even if you don't have children. Come oh, on. You've got some little ones, do you? I'll build two then, so no. they can escape at the exact same time. You look here. Pretty small. You listen to me, because this has got to stop right Oughta now. Here. Oughta here at the house right now. What? Camouflage. The children are hiding in the bushes. Okay, all right, I'm done with this call, okay? Just build the damn deck the way that the plans were, and I do not want any damn trap doors. Ah, copy that, wink. (laughs) No, 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 I'm, stop, I'm being serious. Well, then what do you want me to do with the roof? The roof, what are you talking about? There's nothing about the roof, you're building a deck. But I'm on the roof right now. I see your neighbors, but they can't see me. You need to get off my property now. Okay, well, I think I can make it to your neighbor's roof. <laughs> Bullseye. Got the chimney. Are you on drugs? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Well, it's probably the fact that this is a prank phone call. None of this is real. What the yeah. hell? <laughs> my name's Jose for the radio show, Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. We're doing a phone tap on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not suspended on a roof right now. Well, I-, I wish I was. <laughs> A trap door in my deck? Jesus, where do you come up with this? Uh, you never know when all of a sudden a group of mafiosa walk up on you in the middle of a barbecue, mate. Oh, it's happened to me before. That was in 1962 in Calcutta. You must be like 85 years old or something because these dates that you're giving are all messed up. Yeah, that's what the queen told me in 1912. She's a very nice lady. I'm talking about three queens ago, by the way. Oh, my God.